Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. This is Soup, as per always, and last time we got pretty much everything in the volcanic crater, and we need to do a little bit of cleanup in the mountain pass. Because there's a couple... I need to remember how to drive this thing. If we check our thing, there is one pre power cell that we don't have, and a handful of uh, precursor orbs that we are missing. So, for some reason, we have decided not to uh, get rid of the uh, explosives. Do not touch the explosives. They will kill you. I'm pretty sure they're an instant kill. Something you'll notice that wasn't here before is Yellow Eco. I'm trying to remember if, we have, if we've ever had Yellow Eco on the Zoomer, and I don't how. But that was weird. None of the Irish. As you can see, It's not like I'm a limited amount of time. But that just proves that uh, I was right. Yellow Eco, and like I was trying to say before, before I was rudely interrupted, there is a hole here that we could not get to before. I'm going to spend a little bit of time, because we now have, find the hidden power cell, we have all of that, but we have four power cells that are unaccounted for. I'm going to round those up. It probably won't take me very long. This is the uh, way back.
And like I said, it wasn't going to take very long and I just have to grab them. And that's 50 of 50. I check. That should be every single, that's every single uh, power cell and precursor orb so far in our adventure. this from style. My shooting thing. Hello, I, the mountain pass is actually one of my favorite areas. With the zoomer, because it works on everything that the zoomer does well. The the speed of it and whatnot. And doesn't really uh outside of the cleanup that you have to do, it's not super precise. So, but now that we have everything, there's no reason to look back, there's no reason to think back. We just need to move forward. Crap. and not fall into the lava. Ugh. I don't think I've actually... Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever actually fallen into the lava in, in a volcanic crater. But, anyway... Here are the lava tubes. <laughs> All right. With these additional power cells, I should be able to supply the heat shield with enough power to stand up to this lava. But the shield still has a limit. It will now withstand temperatures up to 800 degrees, but no more. So keep an eye on your gauge. I don't want to think about what those temperatures are due to your zoomer if the shield gives out. Yeah, the heat. What? The zoomer? Lava tubes, and I can't, I can't control the up and down of the camera. That that really bothers me. But the lava tubes, I hate to love the lava tubes, and I love to hate them so much. And I'm just gonna say I'm going to die in here multiple times. So let us begin. This is basically the similar to uh, Fire Canyon in that your little heat gauge over there is just going to continue to go up.
way it's not like oh god is that this thing wants to kill you It's irrelevant now. But luckily there are checkpoints. And things that you do do carry over, so. I really, really like the lava tubes because they're really cool. And it it's very much a different animal compared to the other zoomer areas because it just it's so long and there's so many parts to it Like I said, I will die multiple times here because I suck at the lava tubes. Like all the other, um... Um... Zoomer sections have been just... Kinda simple and just... Oh, you're doing this and you're going this way. Kiko. I don't look forward to the death count after this. And it's just, just the mechanical and just... It just... This place looks cool. I also find it extremely difficult because it, well, it is very long. It, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. And I say that wasn't too terribly bad, but like I said, this is entrance to Gaul and Mira's Citadel. Let's uh, bring them, bring up S Kieran hey, the Sage. Where's old short, green, and wrinkly? This is terrible. Father is missing. I think Gaul and Maya may have kidnapped him as well. Relax, sweetheart. I got everything under control. Under control? Lurker armies continue to grow across the land. The Sages have been kidnapped. Gaul and Maya have gathered enough eco to complete their terrible plan, and to stop them, you're going to have to fight your way through their citadel. Uh, yeah. That about, uh, sums it up. You've got to rescue my father before it's too late. And Jack, be careful. Yeah, we will be. I always liked that scene. And we can't, and she doesn't seem to have anything to talk to us about. But I'm gonna go through the the um, lava tubes probably a couple more times 
to get what I missed. So, I will probably show a clip show of all, both deaths and victories. Uh, this is the worst part. You can't, you can do the lava tubes backwards? I just never do. Because as easy, it's very much a down, it's very much an uphill versus downhill stretch. So, but I guess while I'm getting started, I, that scene always kind of, I always liked that scene, because it always felt, I, I don't really know how to describe it. It always felt... Like the stakes are getting higher. Which is what it's supposed to do. But... And fire. But I like that scene because the order it always was a bit of a heartwarming scene for me because it you can genuinely feel... I'm gonna blow up here. Seriously. God damn it. I need to just kind of speed run this. But... I think it's a really well done scene because A it shows a little bit of depth in uh, Kira's character. There we go. There we go. That's all the scout flies. I know I missed it just one or so. Because pretty much all we've seen of her character prior to this is kind of a confident tomboy. And in that scene, we kind of see her be legitimately afraid for her father. And I think you get to see that she, well, pretty much really cares about her father. Oh, shit. That's another thing I don't like with the lava tube, since you, it's one giant stretch. There's no... You, the checkpoints are hard checkpoints. I should have blew up there. I don't know. Kira is one of my personal favorite characters in this game and just in general. So. As a kid, it kind of 
feel a lot of pressure to move forward. But we have everything in the lava tubes and everything in pre areas prior to it. We are at 92% completion. Until next time, everybody, where we will begin our track. Through Gaul and Mira's Citadel. Thank you for watching. Until then, goodbye.